So has Jada Smith really been manipulating Aisha Curry because her own life is a hot mess? Yeah. It's actually like feeling like an emptiness. Yeah. At least you think it is. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, Aisha recently put Jada on blast for trying to ruin her life by manipulating and twisting her words to get her dragged. Aisha also exposed Jada for faking things on her Red Table Talk show. And it looks like this drama is about to get even worse. So Aisha Curry is finally speaking up about one of the most infamous moments of her career, and that's her Red Table Talk interview that she did a couple of years ago. Now, it's not really all that surprising that there's drama attached to the Red Table Talk, cause listen, that show was always bringing the drama. From the entanglement drama to Jada hinting that Will doesn't satisfy her in the bedroom to Willow exposing Will and Jada for being bad parents. There have been more than enough wow moments on that show. But the show got canceled by Facebook a couple of weeks ago and Jada made the announcement saying, we are so grateful to have had such a beautiful partnership with Facebook Watch and we are sorry to see the entire team disappear band. We wish everyone well in their new journeys to come. We at Red Table are in talks of finding a new home and we'll see you soon. So this show is canceled for now, but that doesn't mean that the drama is over cause baby, Aisha Curry just stirred up some major drama of her own and it goes all the way back to the Red Table talk. Now one major criticism that the show has always gotten is that people sometimes feel like it's not real. Now I'm not talking about the problematic moments on this show, I'm talking about the fact that people think that the show is overly edited to show what Jada wants to show and some parts are cut out from the interview. And if you don't know what that means, cutting out parts of the interview often results in statements being taken out of context. The words end up meaning different than what they were intended and things just get hella weird. We have seen this happen to Jada before when people mistook her words to mean that she and Will were having issues in the bedroom. Like I said, people have often pointed out this weird fact, but for some reason the celebs she invites on the show have never said anything about it. Well, until now that is because Aisha Curry just read Jada for filth. This is because she's accusing Jada of editing her interview and manipulating her words to mean something else and getting her dragged. For those of you who don't know, we're gonna do a quick rundown of the drama so we know exactly what we're dealing with. Aisha Curry is the wife of NBA player Steph Curry and in 2019 she went on Red Table Talk to talk about her experience being an NBA wife. She said a couple of things that didn't exactly sit well with a lot of people and she got dragged through the mud because people accused her of being a clout chaser. Something that really bothers me and like honestly has given me a sense of a little bit of an insecurity is the fact that yeah like there are all these women like throwing themselves but me like the past 10 years like I don't have any of that like I have zero this sounds weird but like male attention and so then you like I begin to realize. internalize it and I'm like is something wrong with you're me not, like you're not looking but it didn't stop there because she admitted that it would feel nice to know that people are looking at her I don't want it but yeah. it'd be nice to know that like someone's looking. But that when you're dangerous. Turned <laughs> off. Yeah. Right. Her mother-in-law and sister-in-law were on the show with her, so it was kinda awkward for her to admit that. But one thing about Aisha is that she is always going to speak her truth, even if it's saying stuff like this in front of her in-laws. While everybody else on the show laughed it off, people online had a very different reaction to her words because she got a lot of heat online. People were dragging her for being obsessed with other men even though she's married to one of the richest men in the NBA. Yay. There were all sorts of comments saying things like, imagine being blessed with one of the most successful rich professional athletes as a husband. He's not messy, being caught up with scandals and mistresses, seems to be a family man and a great father to your children, and you still would like attention from other men? It's never good enough for most women. And, well this just goes to show you, you can get hundreds of millions from NBA, multiple championships, named the greatest shooter of all time, and still can't be enough for a woman. She is mad she isn't getting attention when she is married, wow. Yeah, it was a very messy situation to say the least, but Aisha did not let herself get silenced by what people were saying. She took to her Instagram to address the backlash saying, I have never been one to cage my feelings and emotions to any capacity, I am human. It brings me pure joy to speak my mind, be vulnerable at times, and to know myself inside and out. Seeing as how it's Mental Health Awareness Month, I really want to take the time to encourage everyone to speak their 
their truth, regardless of perception, fitting into a mold or offending someone because it's your truth. And that's okay. If what I'm not afraid to say out loud about being a 30 year old mama of three helps another woman like me feel like they're not alone and not the only one with an insecurity because we all have them don't play, then that makes all of this hoopla worth it. She then encouraged people to watch the episode saying, if you get a chance to watch the actual Red Table Talk and not the headlines and rumors, please do. There is so much more depth to the talk and our family is grateful to Jada Pinkett Smith for giving us the opportunity to bond together. As women, let's continue to uplift, empower, and not suppress or compress our feelings and thoughts as fleeting as some of them may be. Steph also played the role of a supportive husband when he said, proud of you for being authentic and putting yourself out there and not being afraid of the potential BS and nonsense that could and did come at you. Way more positives than negatives with all this. Keep being you. I love you. But that didn't help much because the fans still gave Aisha the side eye when they talk about her. There has been talk about how she could potentially cheat on her husband and how she doesn't appreciate the life she has and all sorts of stuff. Well, Aisha is now addressing the drama again and it looks like her words may have been taken out of context on the show because she is slapping Jada for editing things and causing people to take her words out of context. She recently sat down for an interview with the Insider Magazine where she opened up about the drama for the first time since 2019 and she claims that she regrets doing the Red Table Talk. She had a clearly bad experience on Red Table Talk, the Facebook Live interview series helmed by Jada Pinkett Smith in 2019. At the time the show was taped, Curry was newly postpartum a nursing mother. On the program, she discussed sometimes feeling insecure in her marriage and sometimes wanting attention, real and vulnerable human emotions. But the show was edited in a way that made me sound crazy, she says. It's not what I said and the context was weird. Yeah, I took that one personally. So Aisha is accusing Jada of manipulating things for clicks, even though it put Aisha in a bad light. Her experience with Jada was so bad that she eventually had to seek therapy and step away from the limelight. The interviewer revealed that Aisha credits therapy with helping her make much needed changes in her life. One of these involved a pivot away from her role as a social media personality. She's no longer interested in being the main character or worse, a supporting character to her husband. Curry explains that being taken out of context for clicks is a painful lesson she's had to learn to be guarded. So it looks like Aisha is accusing Jada of using her for clickbait, even though she knew that it would put Aisha in the crosshairs on social media and get her dragged. And let Aisha tell it this is why she hates being a celeb. Now, I gotta say, I feel sorry for Aisha because she went through a very hard time, but the math is not really mapping. I mean, she watched the episode, she even encouraged people to watch, and then she even thanked Jada for giving her the opportunity to speak her truth. But now she's claiming that Jada did her dirty and that Jada is the bad guy that ruined her life? Now, I'm not saying that Aisha is lying or anything because Jada has been accused of this before, but I am saying that there's something off here. Now, I understand that things can be done for PR and you gotta save face and stuff, but unfortunately for her, people aren't exactly feeling bad for her because they left comments saying, well, the reality is Jada won't be there to save her or defend her. You can't blame her for what you said out of your own mouth. That's how you really felt. Own up to it. Just own it. She regrets it because she has been criticized mercilessly. She has become a poster child for ungrateful and cloud obsessed women. Now, because Jada is so despised now, she thinks she can transfer the negative energy over to Jada. And she lying. I don't believe her. That interview was four years ago and now all of a sudden you got regrets now? No, I don't buy that. Yeah, this is hella messy for Aisha because she is getting dragged all over again and people are saying that she should have just let the past stay in the past. But I need to know what y'all think about all of this. Do you think Aisha was telling the truth about her words being edited out of context because that happens all the time or do you think that she's just jumping on the Jada Smith hate train? Let me know what you think and then check out this next video.